Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to learn sum if formula in Microsoft Excel. As you can see, we have this data which we are going to use. We have client name, province, client type and sale. So sum if formula as it sounds, sum only if a certain condition is fulfilled. So here we have these conditions. So let's start we will use our formula here so which is is equals to sum if then tab then as it is asking for a range we have to select our range please note when we are selecting the range the condition must be in the first row as we have here so we will select from here and it will be our first row we will select from here till here then we will press F4 to lock these sales as you can see these dollar signs now which means these are locked now comma now we have to select our criteria so our criteria is this then we will use comma again and then we have to select some range we have to select our range where we have sales we will select from here till the end we have selected this and then we will press F4 and you can see these dollar signs now which means these are also logged and now we will press enter and you can see the total sales we have made towards Alberta is 80,000 out of 411,000 now we will check other provinces so we will select this and then we will drag you can see for Alberta then Manitoba Nova Scotia until the end you can see all the sales we have made because formula is adding sales as per the conditions so now we will use sum here then we will select our range and then enter and you can see our total sales 411,000 which we have here as well now we have settled our formula here now we can change our conditions if we want to let's say now we want to see sales by client type so we can either type here or we can copy from here so I will copy this and I will paste here and from here best values now you can see it is showing zero because as mentioned earlier the condition should be in the first row so we have to change our formula from here so we'll double click here and we'll change this by selecting this area now we have client type and first row then we'll press F4 this is not logged so we'll press F4 and then enter and you can see the changes now we'll drag this down and we have difference here because we are missing type D and here you go I hope you have learned how to use sum if formula in Microsoft Excel in coming videos we will be covering sum ifs formula where we use multiple conditions at the same time Please hit like if this video was helpful for you. Comment down if you have any questions. Share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.